right, so this lab is a macromolecule indicator lab. I'll explain the supplies and then I'll go through uh, the lab like if you had done it. So um, we have indicators, and so we have three. This one is uh, Benedict's. If you see the color, it's sort of aqua um, to begin with. And then this is called Bayeray. It's kind of a purpley color. And then this is iodine. It's kind of a yellowish brown. Um, and then I have three different solutions. One is uh, monosaccharides, one is polysaccharides, and one is protein. So as we go through these, there's going to be um, one indicator that is positive for each of the three uh, different things. I like to do an indicator at a time. So I'll test for Benedict's first for all three of the um, solutions. And then uh, we'll go and we'll talk about the Bayure and the um, iodine. So I have three different sets. This says mono, poly, protein, and then it says BE, BE, BE for Benedict's, and then I have uh, mono, poly, um, protein for uh, Bayure, 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 and then I have mono, uh, mono uh, poly, oops, and then proteins for uh, iodine. So we'll do one at a time. The reason that I do Benedict's first is because um, it has to sit for a five minutes in a warm water, which is what's heating up here in the beaker. So I'll just take um, a healthy squirt of each one. And so that one is the monosaccharides. This is the polysaccharides. And then this is the proteins. So monosaccharides would be, uh, for example, um, like simple sugars. Uh, glucose is the big one that we talk about. Polysaccharides might be starches. And then, um, let me go back. Okay. Um, and then proteins are proteins like meats and eggs and different stuff like that. So um, when I do this, I just say give it a big healthy squirt of each. And so you're going to have, uh, it's sort of a one-to-one -one at this point because I'm using a bigger pipette because the one in the bottle is broken. Um, but that's no big deal. And then I'm going to take these, give them a little swish, and then we're going to sit them in there and do the other ones while we're waiting for that to um, do their little reaction. So then I'll just do, um, so these are uh, Benedict's solution. And now I'm going to take the Bayure. And remember it was like this weird kind of purpley um, when the um, the other was more of a bright blue. So I'll just take a squirt and I will add these in. So I have my monosaccharides, I have my polysaccharides, and then I have my proteins. And so. Uh, whenever you're looking for a change uh, with any chemical reaction or any sort of uh, change, you're going to look for a color change. And so I'll give this a squirt into the monosaccharides, I'll give this a squirt into the polysaccharides, and then I'll give this a squirt into the proteins. So, um, not sure if you can see that, so I'll hold them up in a sec, but I'm going to give them two squirts just because um, then you can see it a little bit better. So, I don't know if you can tell, but the the protein, or this third one, came up positive. So if you look at these, um, the monosaccharide didn't do much, the polysaccharide didn't do much, but then this turned into a darker purple. So this one would be positive. Um, and so the uh, Bayure, which is what these three tubes are, tests for protein, because the tube that is protein is the one that came up positive. And so now we'll do iodine. And so we'll do a squirt of monosaccharides, do a squirt of polysaccharides, and then we'll do a squirt of proteins. Now in these, all this is is a uh, simple sugar, this is uh, potato starch, and then my protein, which is this one that's a little bit off screen, is um, just jello powder. And so then I'm going to take my squirt of, oops, this is not cooperating. Use another pipette. So I'll take a squirt of iodine and I will put it in my monosaccharides. And so it didn't do a ton. Um, let's put it into my polysaccharides and then I put it into my proteins. So if you look at those, you can tell that your put it up against the later background. So you can tell that the middle one changed a bit. It turned darker. Um, I'm gonna squirt a little extra in there just so you can see what it's supposed to look like. It's just not, I think I put a lot in there. 
so dark. It's like a brown color. So if you can see, so that sort of went from like the yellowish, brownish, goldish to a brownish. So, so that would be a positive result. And then my Benedict's still working. So I'm going to take a little break and then we'll come back.